Korean Family Vision and Tai Chi Expert, is the director of the Tai Chi for Health Institute. He is the author and co-author of 24 papers published in peer-reviewed journals, including several books like Overcoming Arthritis and uh, Tai Chi books, and many instructional DVDs. He led several teams of medical and Tai Chi experts to create the Tai Chi for Health program. Center for Disease Control and Prevention recommends Dr. Lam's Tai Chi for Arthritis and Fall Prevention program. This program is also supported by national and state health departments around the world. The Arthritis Foundations of Australia, America, and the UK, plus other organizations, partnered with Dr. Lam to bring his program to the community. Over 5 million people around the world have learned Tai Chi. I'm going to talk about Tai Chi in the community and then we'll come out and do a let's try Tai Chi together and then we'll have question and answer sessions. So I'm going to start with um, I have the perfect remote control here. <laughs> <laughs> tai Chi for Health Institute have one and only one purpose. Our purpose is to empower people to improve health and wellness through Tai Chi for Health programs. So to empower the person, I'm going to start with what's Tai Chi, the Tai Chi for arthritis and force prevention, and uh, how does it work? Then we're going to try it together. Uh, so what is Tai Chi? Um, tai Chi is such a vast topic and it means different things to different people. It's an aerobic low impact exercise and it's a gentle exercise that involves the whole body, the <coughs> internal, the mind, as well as the body and uh, it strengthens the internal and external. And one thing is important to know is that different kinds of Tai Chi and they can be quite different. And I'll just show you, I'm going to go from the bottom up. So if you look at the bottom, it's a seven style or sun style. It's, it's, it's very wonderful, unique, uh, life energy generating Tai Chi. It's the youngest of all the Tai Chi styles and uh, about 150 year, year old. And uh, it's, it looks so easy, so gentle, and so easy to learn. Yet it has really amazing depth and very powerful in developing all kinds of benefits, which I'll talk about. Yang style is the most popular style in the world. You probably see them on television or in my DVDs. And Yang style looks something like this. You can see it's a little more expensive, little more bigger, and still very gentle and relaxing. The original Tai Chi style, Chen style, can be quite different. And it's really nice to know the difference. It's sort of, I just give you a little bit of the ideas of different style. And then you can see why it's important when I show you more about Tai Chi. It can also be fast, like that. That's also Tai Chi. You can see if you are older person, you probably not the <laughs> first thing. <laughs> I'm an older person and I do it because I've done Tai Chi and have the strength to do it. So, and that's why it's important to modernize Tai Chi for health. And I'll talk more about that. Let's go to the next slide. The National Center of Complementary and Alternative Medicine have this many benefit of Tai Chi. It's a long, long list, but I sort of pick out a few important ones. It improves balance, it reduces risk of fall, relieve pain, improve sleep, and I like the last one most, the overall wellness. When you feel well, everything else gets better. So next, please. The next topic about empowering the person 
is a program. Tai Chi for arthritis and force prevention. We created it 14 years ago. Uh, I lead a team of medical and Tai Chi experts create that. And we created it with force prevention in mind. 14 years ago, in our wisdom, we thought a name like Tai Chi for arthritis for force prevention. Just a little too long, mm -hmm. so we cut it down to Tai Chi for arthritis. It's the same. Tai Chi for arthritis, Tai Chi for force prevention from our institute is exactly the same. I'm going to just tell you a little bit about Tai Chi for arthritis or Tai Chi for force prevention. It is accessible. Anyone can do it. You can see we have fun doing that sitting down. You can even do that lying down. Charlie here, uh, he's, he's, he's now 84. 12 years ago, Charlie needs a knee operation for arthritis. So he told his doctor, I'm going to Sydney to Dr. Lang's workshop and I'll come back for my knee operation. So 12 years later, <laughs> Charlie still got his knee. <laughs> and he actually do the chain style that I show you, as well as other styles. And there's Zoe, who's the youngest participant in that workshop. Zoe is just turned 20. Couldn't imagine half a year ago, she was lying in intensive care for like two months. She had rheumatoid arthritis, the, the drugs she takes suppressing immunology, and she got pneumonia and she nearly died. So, Tai Chi has helped her recover. Both of them teach Tai Chi. Yeah. We are very inclusive. Accessible, inclusive. Next, please. At one of my workshops in Albany, Connecticut, you can see these two 80-year young ladies are having fun. They also teach Tai Chi and still keen to learn. And I thought you would like to see the next slide. We are doing Tai Chi for force prevention in Memphis. You can see there's lots of people there from different countries. And we like it so much, we put it on YouTube just for fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I got an email from a producer of a movie uh, Kiana Reeves, Reeves, and I will be the only person who doesn't know who he is, even though I like metrics. <laughs> 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 and they say, I like that bit, can we put it in, your, in our movie? He's producing a movie called Nain of Tai Chi. So I say, oh, well, you know, it's going to cost you. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> anyway, it's in the movie, so it was fun. Um, I did find out who he is. <laughs> <laughs> the Center of Disease and Prevention, CDC, has sent me an email a couple of years ago. Um, they recommend our program and just to warn me so that we're ready for the Russian inquiry. <laughs> the first reason they recommend us, of course, is the evidence. So next, please. And the evidence i like to cite the first evidence was a review by Gillespie, Gillespie, by a huge review, 111 studies involved over 50,000 people. And this review showed, it's really interesting, um, the only two exercises that is effective for force prevention uh, tai Chi and individually prescribed exercise by physios. Swimming, walking does not reduce the rate of falling significantly. That surprised me, but not surprised me though that Tai Chi is so effective, right on the top. Um, next please. And um, then in Sydney, there's a study, the Sydney Tai Chi trial is the world biggest Tai Chi for force prevention for older adults. 702 people, that's a huge study. Out of that, 83 of them, 83% of them do the Tai Chi for force prevention. Reduction is 67%. So can you imagine 
falls among the elderly is the most expensive item in the Western country. In the USA, it's something like $40 billion a year. So 67% will come up to something like $25 billion. That's like a huge figure. But I want you to remember that and come back to that next. The second reason CDC recommends us is because we have a system of training that's been proven. Let me introduce the Institute. The Institute is a non-profit organization. It facilitates instructors' training, supports medical research, and maintain a high standard of teaching and ensure that instructors adhere to the ethical codes. In the US, say alone, we have 70 master trainer and senior trainer who train instructors. We train well over 6,000 <coughs> instructors. We collaborate with Arthritis Foundation USA. So we are ready to train more people. In a ballpark figure, it's poor because something like $5,000 to train 25 instructors. And 25 instructors, let's say average one of them train, teach about 100 persons, you would have 2,500 participants in a year. So that translates to $2 per student training. And, and Tai Chi is kind of addictive, especially the Tai Chi for Health program. We not just use traditional Tai Chi, we put in modern medicine, we put in modern teaching method. So our programs are, are easier, very easy to learn. It's effective, as many studies have proven that it's effective. That's why CDC recommends us. That's why Arthritis USA collaborate with us. Uh, but it's also very enjoyable. It's, it's more than nice Tai Chi. So um, we can train people. Just think of $2 per person a year. And in 10 years, let's say a 50% dropout rate, you will have 11,250 11, people learn Tai Chi from that $5,000. It's really cost effective. Now, mm -hmm. I just sort of, let's just think about the $25 billion mm -hmm. and $2 a person, that would give you 12.5 billion people, right? Mm -hmm. And that would train the whole world mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. But the mind buggles. You just <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> a tiny, tiny little fraction of that $25 billion, just small fraction, would influence millions and millions of people. And that would just grow. And that would do some immense change to the world because Tai Chi make people not only sick less, spend less money, but make them happier and better quality of life. And it will spread because people like it. The New Zealand government invite me to set up a training system. The New Zealand government will pay people over 60 free Tai Chi lessons to prevent falls. I train two master trainers who in turn train nearly 1,000 instructors. They have taught more than 35,000 people and have great results. New Zealand is a beautiful, <coughs> beautiful country, but it's small. So that's pretty good for a national approach. And that's the, the official photo of me. So I thought I looked pretty good there. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Albany, just, just last year. And we have a good time in the workshop. Next three. This is in Knoxville. Yeah, there's a lot of arts there. We also have a good time. Next, please. I think next one is Sydney. Just happened a couple of months ago. The last reason CDC recommend us is our training material. We spend a lot of time. Next. We put our experience together, we make our material very, very user friendly. It's like you are in my lessons. And it also gives a standard of the program. 
we use the DVD, the instructional material, for the studies that we've done. Are taught the same way as everybody else's. They have the same training instructors and they use the same DVD. So we have a standard throughout. The, the first DVD there, that is uh, Arthritis Foundation USA collaborate with us. That DVD has 12 lessons. It runs for something like nine hours. But of course you don't do it the one go. You just do one <laughs> lesson at a time. And you can see in the middle one, people can do a Tai Chi sitter. And most uh, challenging thing to write was a book, how to teach Tai Chi effectively. Um, and that has been really useful. We set up all scenarios and make it into a very simple stepwise program. And I give reference of all the studies that's re relevant to how we make the Tai Chi work. Last topic of empower the person is how does it work. There's three ways to look at it. The first is a, as an exercise. You just imagine an exercise that affects them, that involves all the joints, muscles, ligaments of the body, and that involves the mind. It's got to be good for balance. It's got to be good for the person. Um, and not only it strengthens the muscles, it also strengthens the deep stabilizer muscles. Well, Thomas, the physical therapy, would know what's mm -hmm. deep stabilizer oh. muscles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I give lectures to doctors, my colleagues, most of them never heard of deep stabilizer muscles. <laughs> it's a deep muscle that supports your spine. So a lot to do with your strength and, and your balance and your back. And Tai Chi does that. And, and that goes to say most exercises do not strengthen the deep stabilizer. The next aspect is the mind. And I think the mind is just as important, if not more so. It gives people a serenity, a re gentle relaxation. You know how people fall, they get stressed in their ruts and they fail because they are engaged in something else? One study showed when people <laughs> walk and talk, they fall much more hardly because they get. But if they are serene and more relaxed, they're less likely to fall. And we know that study has shown when people are confident that they're not going to fall, or when they're not in fear of falling, they're much less likely to fall. Everything else you go. And Tai Chi, of course, is such a great mind exercise. And that correlates very well with the study results. Our Tai Chi make people feel more confident and that percentage they're more confident about 70 percent than the people who didn't do tai chi and the fall rate reduced by about 70 percent almost to that it's amazing the last item it's about internal strength it's almost mysterious tai chi has to do with growing internal muscles the deep muscles but it also improve the internal energy being a Western trained family physician, it takes me a long time to see past what test can tell me. That internal power, it's like a vitality that you grow that through mindful exercise. And Tai Chi does that, it's not so mysterious. The Qi is just a form of life energy, a form of vitality through a mindful exercise. So people, all they have to do is do our Tai Chi according to the simple instruction, but slow, focus, and they will get the improved vitality. There is one very, very important reason. That is, no matter how perfect the exercise is, if people don't do it, it doesn't do anything to them. <laughs> We got five million people <laughs> because people like our exercise. It's not just Tai Chi, it's modernized Tai Chi. Tai Chi with modern medical input and modern input into the psychologies, the learning, making people feel efficacious. All that is part of our system and that's why people enjoy doing it. Um, I think that's an important reason. And just to show you part of that, this is in Singapore. The Singapore government is very up-to-date. They invite me to train uh, 
tennis, and that's our occasion there, 2,000 people behind me. And that's the two guys on the side are the CEO of the People's Association. It's, it's a huge government body. One is retiring and one is coming in, so they both turn out. They're very hard working, thank you for them. Next, please. And let us show you, uh, they produce an official video. Okay. What I try to share is that Tai Chi for force prevention is effective in reducing force and it's improved all other aspects of health. And that CDC has recommended us. And lastly, it's time effective and cost effective. It doesn't take long to learn how to do a Tai Chi because it's easy, but it's a step that keeps people going. And uh, as I try to work it out a rough idea, Dr. Robert will give you more about actual cost. But the rough idea of how much cost, it's, it's cost so little. And you gain so much. And I am just looking forward to see everybody in the world who wants to do Tai Chi have a chance to do it. That's my vision, my hope. And I can tell you how good it is for for your health, uh, I can give myself as an example. I'm 66 and I'm fitter, more flexible, stronger, jump higher than my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I do take some time off. <laughs> Push gently forward and slowly, slowly. Wonderful. Let's do that one more time. Towards your chin and push your chin back just very, very gently. Let's do that again. Push your hands forward and slowly, slowly bend your neck. One more time. Push your chin back gently. Wonderful. And push your hands forward and slowly, slowly. Bring your neck 